My name is Ryan and I'm a Gearxberth Barska. I'm here to demonstrate Barska's large biometric safe which features a secure fingerprint recognition system. This safe can hold up to 120 fingerprints and is very easy to set up. First, you must locate the battery compartment on the inside of the safe's door. Remove the battery cover and insert four AA batteries. The safe is now ready to program. To register a fingerprint, locate the red button on the inside of the safe door. Then press and release the button. Immediately place your fingerprint on the scanner and you will hear two short beeps and one long beep. Your fingerprint is now recorded. To add additional fingerprints, just repeat the programming process. To open the safe with the fingerprint, press the wake up button one time. You will hear a beep and the scanner will turn red. Place your fingerprint on the scanner and the safe will open. This safe features a silent stealth mode. To program the stealth mode, press and hold the programming button on the inside of the door until two lights flash. The safe will now operate without beeping. This large safe also comes with two backup keys. <clears throat> To use the backup keys, you must first remove the Barska faceplate with the included Allen wrench. Insert the keys and the safe will open manually. You can also access the safe by using the included battery pack. Plug the battery pack into the biometric reader and you can now open the safe with your fingerprint. The safe also has six mounting points. There's two on the back and four on the bottom and it also comes with the necessary hardware to secure it. This safe features two removable shelves and also has a carpet on the bottom to protect valuable items. The safe also features three solid steel locking bolts. This large biometric safe is now available from your authorized Barska dealer. Barska. Biometric safes. Security at your fingertips. Hey, this is Josh from Century Safe, and I'm here tonight to talk to you about disaster preparation. Specifically, fire protection. When you say disaster prep, most folks think of hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, massive disasters. And it's true that disasters do happen on a massive scale, but there's also an individual disaster. Whether it's a cooking fire, an electrical fire, or a wildfire that's hit your house, it's all about protection from the unexpected. Century Safe pioneered the fire safe with a unique proprietary insulation. The main component of that insulation is cement, but special additives allow it to capture millions and millions of water molecules. So when a fire rages outside the safe, the water molecules boil and create a vapor barrier. This is important because it keeps the interior temperature of the safe below 250 degrees. Now that's well below the point when paper will burn or CDs, DVDs, and other digital media will melt. To show you our technology works, We've loaded a Big Bolt fire safe with perishable objects, and we've called in the Kendall Fire Department so that we can show you our product perform in a very uncontrolled burn. Alright, everything inside is intact, it's warm to the touch, but there's no damage. It's not melted, it's not burned, just a little bit warm. So this was a success. The 1.2 cubic foot Big Bulls Fire Safe in action. Thanks very much guys. Hmm, now what was that code? Is this thing working? Red? What does that mean? Am I locked out? How long has he known my code? There has to be something better. Meet the Verify Smart Safe, designed with superior fingerprint technology for security and convenience. Setup is a breeze with easy to follow on screen guides. Just a few touches, and Smart Safe learns your fingerprint. Now it knows who to let in and who to keep out. In a hurry? With a touch of your finger, enjoy the convenience of quick access and the security of biometric technology. Utilizing 3D fingerprint technology that is tested and certified by the FBI, SmartSafe digs deeper in detail to get the most authentic image that is simply not possible with cheaper optical sensors. Unlike other safes that require you to manually lock the door, SmartSafe uses advanced sensors to always know the door position. 
This allows it to automatically lock every time the door is closed. So you're never left to wonder if you're protected. Multiple built-in tamper alerts let you know exactly what happened when you're not there. Always being ready to open is really important, so SmartSafe has its own health monitoring. At least once a day and every time it's used, a thorough self-check is performed on the electronics and batteries. Sometimes seconds matter. And this is not the time for keys or codes. So when you need it most, SmartSafe is just a touch away. Verify SmartSafe. Protecting what's important to you. Thank you for purchasing your Paragon Lock and Safe. Uh, what you see here is a safe right out of the box. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is find your keys. Your keys are always with the instructions in the bag outside of the safe. If you do not find these in the box, if you don't find them taped to the styrofoam or taped to the safe, then you need to call our customer service number right away. This is what the keys look like. They're always going to be a barrel key like this. Now the keyhole is always located underneath a cover on the front. It may be shaped a little different from this one, but you can usually just pop it off there with a set of keys or a, a knife. Just be careful not to gouge your plastic. And it's as easy as that, opening up your safe. Now you look, inside here you have a battery cover. Make sure we're getting that. You have a battery cover right here. Your batteries should be located inside the safe. If they're not, you need to contact your customer service and we'll send you some batteries. Now you can see I have the batteries installed. That's pretty straightforward. Let me just put the cover back on. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to enter our codes. The first step in entering our code is to press this red button back here. So I'm going to press that. Now we're going to enter a code. Uh, it would be whatever your secret PIN code would be. I'm just going to enter 1234. And then I'm going to hit the A or the B. Now one thing you might want to note, on your particular safe it might say A or B and it might say star and hashtag or something similar to that. They both function the same way. So now that I've entered the code, what I want to do is put this in the lock position, lock, and now I want to enter my code A or B. And you see it opened right up. You always want to test that before you shut anything in the safe. Don't assume that you got it down because you might mess up and you might have to reset that code. Resetting the code is as simple as pressing the red button and punching in your new code. It's that easy.